Hey, hey, everybody. Just you're gonna cruise right in with the toy of oh, the day. I'm rolling in with a McDonald's Happy Meal. Finally, you knew I was gonna start scraping the bottom of the barrel of toys of the day when I bring in the Happy Meals. I got Mac tonight right here. Does anybody? I, how many times have I said, does anybody remember? And then everybody's like, no, I don't. But this is Mac tonight. The moon-faced McDonald's mascot from you know, late 80s, early 90s. But not one, but here's number two. This one is Mac tonight on like a little like Raz scooter. And he's got the yellow sunglasses here. I think I'd pick these sunglasses. But wait, there's more. There's actually a third Mac tonight in like a Porsche. And he's like, uh, looks like he's about to throw something at an oncoming car in a tuxedo. Oh, wait, he's out of focus. There we go. Let's focus Mac tonight right there. So these are three Mac tonights, all in vehicles. I don't know why. I don't, I really don't, don't have any of my old, uh, I don't really have any of my old Happy Meal toys. I actually got those just maybe a few years ago in a bag with some other stuff. And, uh, but the best were, I remember the Muppet Baby ones, or the best were the, like, the interchangeables, I think they were called. They were like uh, food that would change into um, other things. But anyway, today's video was actually inspired by, by my buddy Cody, who is also the Cody, if you remember him here. Uh, Cody was like, hey, we love Sean Connery. You should do something Sean Connery related. So my first, inst the very first obvious instinct would be A, something like this is a uh, like a wizened owl with bushy eyebrows. That was just a quick sketch that I sent him. But then I thought of something feeling weird, something much more goofy in that I went with thinking of a Fawn Connery, a Fawn, Fawn Connery, F-A-W-N, like a deer. And I'm gonna do that right now because I'm insane. We're gonna make, make a, make it like a deer bodied Sean Connery. And we'll make it so that he doesn't speak. These Sean, Fawn Connerys are actually like actual, uh, just feral animals that don't talk. They just maybe just make Sean Connery noises. They just go like, Rrr. and if you're in the forest, you hear like, Rrr. And it's like the Fawn Connery's grazing, doing them, making their their call. Let's go like this, yeah, like a little deer body. Mm -hmm. So they live in the wild. They do not speak. They just graze upon the grasses, little, and they're fawns. Maybe they never grow larger than a fawn size. Let's do like. Let's make one down here, like, let's make one fawn, one fawn Connery down here, like, nibbling, nibbling grass. He's like, grass, Rrr. I'm so sorry. I won't do the voice anymore. No, I probably will. So here he is. Here's another one. He's got his tail up because he is pleased as punch to have found this nice patch of grass. And then maybe I'll make one facing away. This one's kind of like on guard while the other ones are eating. He's looking this way. Watching. There they are. So majestic. And then, um, yeah, we'll just make this a nice scene of a field with We'll put a, I don't know, I always just kind of throw a tree in the corner just for a little extra interest and a little bit of green. Oh, you know what I should do? Oh, you know what I should do? Is I got the, the like the nature photographer. I've got Joe over here. Let's put, let's put Joe in this picture too. And I'll make him like hanging from the tree just very subtly out here. He's back here just like hanging up from the tree, taking a, trying to take a photo, trying to catch a, a nice wildlife photo of the, Fawn Connery's. Ugh, and then let's, as long as the wheels are falling off, let's go right to inking. Uh, where's my pen? There it is. Okay. 
Sorry, my ch chair's been extra squeaky. I should really do a quick investigation and see. I've got I've got a screw loose down there. I know I've got a screw loose up here. Nur, nur, nur. I apologize for that too. It's almost this Fawn Connery is looking at us directly, you know, like if a deer sees you. Oh yes. Very dashing. Very dashing. Sean Connery's so cool. I like his head that big resurgence with the rock. Welcome to the rock. But obviously. And around here somewhere I used to have, you know, I don't know if I must not have it anymore. I had like a Sean Connery. I had a 007 figure with like the cloth clothes, like a Mego toy. And uh, I don't know where it is. I don't know if I have it anymore. Maybe I don't. Because um, I have gotten rid of some stuff as I just have ran out of room. Since I'm storing more of the kids' things, I've ditched off a lot of my old stuff. Uh, yeah. And then I rewatched the movie Entrapment, which I used to really enjoy with him and Catherine Zeta Jones. And I remembered that being really good. And it was not good. It was bad. It didn't hold up well. And then, of course, it all started to fall apart once he did League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, the LXG, which I'm sure people are like, oh, and I'm thinking about this now as the, uh, um, uh, the one he did with Wesley Snipes, uh, Rising Sun. That was a good movie. I think it was based off of like a well, who wrote that book, Rising Sun? I'm going to say Michael Crichton. That doesn't sound right, though. Oh, well. But that was a really good movie. Tails up. The flag is up. It's a little weird since I just did a deer for Ellie's birthday, like, on Friday. And now a couple days later, we get deer again. But this is not a deer. This is a Fawn Connery. It's a... It's not one character, it is a species, a species of deer, known as a fawn connery. Which makes it, since it has to stay a fawn, that means it never never grows up. These are like some sort of weird, ever young Peter Pan-like animals. I don't know. Yeah, this one's standing in the field, this one's kind of watching out, so... It's a little herd of fawn conneries out in a field. I'll just put them in a nice pleasant field. Just a real simple background. They'll just kind of get filled in with burnt umber color for a nice, yeah, I'll do like a burnt umber, umber field. And then way out here in the distance with the camera is just very faint our old pal Joe. And he's hanging upside down in this tree, being very incognito. Trying to get into some wildlife photography, you know. And this big, majestic old tree here. I always do, I very often just kind of throw a tree in the corner. But, which maybe is a little lazy, but I don't know. What else am I going to do up there? Oh, uh, and then I'll just put like a little forest, a little forest tree line here also. But this one will be very much landscapish compared to a lot of things I've done. So we'll just go like that. And then we'll just put some faint little clouds out here. Just I'll faintly pen in those so I just have some little guidelines to follow. We'll just go just like that. Just a few happy little clowns. Do, do, do. And yeah, we'll just go like that. All right, let's go into turbo paint mode and see what this ends up being. All right. 
all right. All right, I went for like a, just like a, a sunset scene here. The shadow's getting long in the sky. Joe's been patiently waiting in this tree for hours upon hours, just waiting. Maybe he was waiting for, for the Koti, you know, as his grand prize, but... As long as these, uh, you know, these more common fawn conneries came by, he thought he'd, you know, get a few snapshots of them as they're kind of grazing their way across the field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that nice? I said I wouldn't do that again. It's kind of gross. All right, there it is. Uh, it was actually kind of a quick one today because it's just so much background. Uh, but I actually, isn't this quite pleasing? Wouldn't you just... Could you just picture this framed up in a in a uh, hotel somewhere? God, I would love to go in a hotel and see something like this. <laughs> All right. Anyway, guys, have a great day. Um, watch a Sean Connery movie. I hope he, Sean Connery is doing well in 2020. I haven't heard, uh, I haven't seen or heard much of him in a while. So hopefully everything's going well for for the great Sean Connery. I'll see y'all. You see y'all tomorrow. All right. Bye.